You know, 1 Corinthians 11 verse 1, I really think about that when I think about you guys. And it's been two months and we haven't forgotten about you guys. In fact, look what God has done in two months. Look how his spirit is continuing to move. How, how really the reverberations, the ripples from your time here in the Galilee are still going forth. I mean, nations from around the earth are being affected by, by the words you're sharing, by the testimony you're bringing, and by your, your fervent love for God. And uh, I'm so glad to be able to maintain this strong relationship. But, you know... Uh, the way that, that the First Corinthians 11 talks about we got to be able to be leaders, you know, and the way that we follow God is the way that others will be following us and observing our lifestyle and coming for the, the upcoming discipleship, which is not that long away. Uh, Luke 14, verse 33. In the same way, those who do not give up everything are not worthy to be my disciples. So I know that you guys have given so much when you came here, but now is the time that's even more important as we are giving up our lives to be able to stand, and, and it's not always welcome, in our community as a beacon and doing those Bible studies, doing that prayer, and being a, a place in space and time where people know these people stand for the promises, they surround Israel, these people stand for God's purposes and to hasten his return. And he can't return until the restoration of all things, Acts 3, verse 21, spoken of by all of the holy prophets. I'm so happy for your friendship. Let's maintain strong connection in these upcoming weeks. Practical, biblical, education and training for Christians around the world serving the people and land of Israel with unconditional love and an uncompromising faith. Please make your donation today. Your monthly gift is a commitment with us in blessing Israel, blessing God. The Aliyah Return Center, 